The three things I love about salmon cured with dill and pernod are first, there's no cooking at all. I mean, none. How great is that? The second one is that not only can you make it ahead, but in fact, you have to make it ahead for the salmon to cure. And the third, I love that the dish is so sophisticated and yet so easy to make. Just imagine pumpernickel bread, thin slice of salmon, mustard dill sauce, heaven. Salmon cured with dill and pernod is basically like gravlax, but with the volume turned up. I'm gonna serve it paper thin on pumpernickel bread with the mustard sauce, it's delicious. So I'm gonna start with three pounds of salmon and it's a filet, I'm gonna cut it in half. Mm, it's beautiful salmon. All the bones have been taken out, but it's still on the skin. So I'm gonna take half of it and put it in a big dish. Just like that. Now I'm gonna make a salt and spice and sugar cure to put on top. So first I need two tablespoons of whole peppercorns. I'm gonna put it in this mortar and pestle and just grind it up. One tablespoon of whole fennel seeds. Just think how good that is. Lots of flavor. And just grind it up like this. If you have a spice grinder, you can use that too. But you want it really coarse. And if you do this, instead of buying them already ground, you really bring out the oils and the flavor in it. If it's already ground, it just it's not as fresh. Just keep grinding into all the pepper and the fennel. It's broken up. So what I'm doing is I'm making a spice mixture and that's gonna mix with the salmon and the juices in the salmon are gonna mix with the salt and make a cure. And it sits for two days and it kind of pickles the salmon. It's just delicious. Okay, that's the spice mixture. Now I need half a cup of salt. I know it's a lot of salt, but we're curing it. And half a cup of sugar. I'm just gonna mix that together. So that's the salt and spice mixture. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I have lots of fresh dill and it's really important for this. I'm gonna take a big bunch of fresh dill and just put it right on top of the salmon. And that flavor, that kind of like dill flavor, it's so unique, so Scandinavian, is gonna get into the salmon. Okay, next is the spice mixture. Just all of it right on top. I know it seems like a lot of salt and a lot of sugar, but that's how you cure salmon. It sounds like the cure for the common cold, but it's salmon. <laughs> Okay, and then some Pernod, which is very anise flavor, two tablespoons. And that's gonna help dissolve the salt and the sugar and it get right into the salmon. So next, I'm gonna take the other half of the salmon and put it right on top. Look how great that looks, I love it. And then I'm gonna take a dish, I wanna weight it down. I'm gonna take a dish that can sit right on top a little precarious, but it sits right on top. And then I'm gonna weight it. Go to the pantry and get two cans, preferably crushed tomatoes. No, it doesn't matter what kind of cans, any kind of cans, and just weight that on top. And that's gonna sit in the fridge for two days. And every 12 hours, I'm gonna flip the whole salmon thing over, and then it'll marinate the other side and then flip it back again. Okay, let's see if I can get it into the fridge without dropping it. Whoa. <laughs> Be right back. Happily, I have one that I did two days ago. So I'll show you how it looks. Two cans. <laughs> it's amazing how it's transformed by marinating it. So these are the two pieces of salmon. Remember, I flip them every 12 hours. Take one off, put it right on the board. The salt and the sugar and the spices and fennel all got into the salmon. I'm just gonna take the dill off and put it back in the marinade. So it's flavored it, but you don't want to slice the salmon with the dill. And then I'm gonna take any pieces of pepper and fennel left over off. When I first bought my specialty food store, Barefoot Contessa, the first thing I had to learn was how to slice salmon. And I was really nervous, because it's not so easy. But I'll show you, you have a very thin knife and it's very flexible. And you just go right along the top. You wanna to make sure it's really sharp. First slices are just to get it started. 
When I first learned, the woman who taught me actually said, slice on one side and then the other side until you get really comfortable, which is really good advice. It takes a little practice, but you can get it. You don't want to thicker in some places and thinner in others. You want to sort of paper thin all the way through. And this is actually called a smoked salmon knife. So if you really want to treat yourself, it's not a bad idea because you really can't do this with a chef's knife. It would be impossible. Like be trying to do surgery with a screwdriver. <laughs> you just always need the right utensils for the right job. So you really want to do it, not just paper thin, but also evenly. And it takes some practice, but you can do it. See how thin this is? It's really paper thin. The good thing is, if you make more than you need in one time, you just put it back in the marinade, and it'll stay for a couple of days. It turns out after 20 years, I still remember how to do this. It's kind of like riding a bicycle. Once you've mastered it, you never forget how to do it. OK, that's the salmon sliced, but there's more. Now I'm going to turn the salmon with dill and perneau into canapes. So I'm going to take a piece of salmon and just put it on the pumpernickel bread. And I kind of do it like in a ribbon, so it has a little body to it, as opposed to just putting it on flat. The pumpernickel bread is really dark and sort of just a delicious counterpoint to the salmon. OK, that's one. This is going to make six canapes. And two. And a little bit. You want to be sure to cover the whole bread. And three. A little piece. You can cut the pieces so that they fit perfectly. This is why it's really important that it's paper thin, so you can just do a little bit sort of like ripple of it. OK, that's the salmon. Next is the sauce. This is a mustard sauce, and it's actually got four different kinds of mustard in it. It's very mustardy. Let me tell you how I made it. I just added two tablespoons of Dijon mustard to a bowl, along with a tablespoon of honey mustard, a teaspoon of whole grain mustard, and a half a teaspoon of ground mustard. That's a lot of mustard. Next, I added one and a half tablespoons of sugar, two and a half tablespoons of good white wine vinegar, whisked everything together. Then slowly, I poured in two and a half tablespoons of good olive oil that I had combined with one and a half tablespoons of grapeseed oil, whisking constantly until the sauce was emulsified. Then I mixed in two tablespoons of minced fresh dill and a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. How easy is that? And this is how I like to put the sauce on the canapé, just to drizzle it with a spoon, just like that. So you see the salmon, and you see the sauce, and you see the pumpernickel. You don't want one to cover the other one up. Mm. All the salmon and mustard and pumpernickel and dill. I'm just going to cut them in half. I just like to do it diagonally. Looks nice. It's the only thing I like diagonally. <laughs> OK, a little chopped up dill, just so you know there's dill in it. Really, just a rough chop. OK, a little bit of dill, and onto the platter. So that's salmon cured with dill and perneau. You make it ahead, you serve it at room temperature, and you don't even have to turn on the stove. How great is that? This recipe and more can be found at barefootcontessa.com.